division. Introducing to you firstly boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the red and black colored shorts. At the Wayne Heaskill, 10 stone, 5 pounds. Tonight is his 14th professional contest, presenting from Tichy Poland, Marianne Veselovsky. And Welcome to the seventh contest of the evening here at Winter Gardens in Blackpool under VIP promotions. And joining me for the next few fights is Ryan Bradley from Stockport. Ryan has boxed previously as an amateur, now coaches professionally, and under his wing is Reese Woods and Ryan Hibbert. So we look forward to the commentary tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me, Mike. Well, you're welcome, Ryan. Nice, nice to see you here anyway, and uh, looking forward to commentating alongside you. Yeah, definitely, yourself, so. So, interesting fight now tonight, Levi Barnes. As we heard from uh, the MC Michael Pass, he's a well-decorated amateur. Yeah, he won world bronze, didn't he, as a youth, so. He certainly did, yeah. T talented kid, switch hitter. He's a nice, nice, lively boxer in his third professional bout tonight. Started off rightly, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a nice, he's a nice sharp kid. Levi Barnes made his debut here in September with a win over very experienced journeyman Christian Lopez Flores. Yeah, he's well, he's well known on the circuit um, as far as it is. He's, he certainly is, yes. He's, he's a tough cookie. But um, again, Le Le Levi Barnes did a number on him that night. Another product of the sharp style, um, the sharp style gym, isn't it? They are, yeah, they, they've, they've got a, a great a great array of fighters, if I raise the word. Um, a selection of fighters, all good kids, all, all seem to turn pro, you know, similar time. Levi, one, one of the later ones. Yeah, it's great to catch, just got here now and catching Jake Abrol first, who's, uh, who I think has got the potential to be a world champion at some point. Yeah, Jake, Jake, definitely a talented fighter. Uh, you know, like you said, Ryan, uh, all the sharp style kids, all talented kids under the Tuition of Andy Abril, father of Jake. So nice, nice start by Levi. He's seamlessly switching, um, switch from orthodox to southpaw and back as well, isn't he? Yeah, they're, they're a nightmare, these kids to fire. They must be. I, to be honest with you, I never fought myself, fought professionally in amateur. Not someone with this kind of style. Must be a nightmare for these opponents. Bezulowski, 21, from Poland. Only had three fights in the UK. This is his 15th fight tonight. He's having a baptism of fire here. He's early, uh, being tested by Levi there. for round two, that was a great first round from Levi Barnes. I think he did, every, did everything we'd expect him to do really, Ryan. Absolutely, with that nice bit of flash as well, you know, not too flashy, but he can obviously back it up. But it's he's coming out, if he can keep that intensity up uh, for the next few rounds, you know, he started excellently.
Yeah, Le Levi's last fight uh, was at Grand Central Hall in Liverpool, where he fought Dimitris Pakunas, who we've seen earlier tonight. If you if you tuned in earlier, who actually um, had a surprise win. It's like Levi's trying to finish it early here tonight. Well, you don't get overtime in our sport, do you? So I don't blame him really. No, exactly. Yeah, I mean, if you can finish him early, finish him early. Why not? Just seem to carry that power. It's just quite impressive to carry that same amount of power in both hands. You know, well, from the back hand with whatever stance he's in. A bit, bit of an ambitious overhand right there. Yeah, just a bit. And I think we, you know, so far tonight, and as we know from previous fights, these the sharp style fighters, they, they, they throw punches with bad intent. They don't seem to hold back on any shots, and they don't waste very much. They absolutely do, and also, I think it's quite synonymous with sharp style as well, if the footwork so fantastic. I think that, as I uh, was alluding to off, cam off camera before, I think um, Andy Abro started his started his life as a break dancer, and I think you can see with the, uh, the twinkle toes that you seem to see off all these sharp style lads. Yeah, he must teach him a few moves himself in the gym. <laughs> Certainly comes in handy, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, they say a bit of belly dance, a bit of ballet dancing is good for boxers, isn't it? Yeah, I, don't, I don't, you probably wouldn't see many boxers in a, a ballet class, but don't knock do, it till you tried it. Did Lomachenko any arm, did it? Well, yeah, exactly. I, I, I believe he did a few lessons. So yeah, don't knock it till you tried it. You've got to explore, you know, all, all the avenues to make you. Make you a better boxer. Fantastic shots by Levi. So, so quick, isn't he? Fast hands. Very, very neat as well. Just notice there, though, he does leave himself open a little bit. Head, head hangs a little bit high. He does, but there's, whenever he's throwing a shot, there's no wasteful shots, is there? Like you said, all sharp styles seem to uh, hit with bad intention. Yeah. Ooh. So it's a great start to the fight. The previous two rounds, Levi Barnes, I'm sure you'll agree, Ryan, uh, you're totally convinced. Convince us to give him those two rounds. Absolutely, I think um, what's noticed then he's come out uh, the first two rounds in orthodox and he's come out and he's obviously the switch hitter but coming out in Southport. Like we said, it's just so difficult to deal with a switch hitter but just keeping the opponent thinking all the time. Yeah, he, he was a little bit the same, wasn't he? Nazim Ahmed back in the day, he was a, he was a switch hitter. Awkward and he carried, he carried power in both hands. Some nice flurries through from Levi. Like you said, he does leave himself a bit wide open when he throws these flurries, but they are meaningful when he comes with them. Yeah, yeah, he just goes roughly through that overhand right again and caught Levi on the chin. Gotta be careful there. I don't, I don't think there's gonna be trouble too much, but it only takes one lucky shot, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Interestingly enough, as well, uh, Veselovsky, out of his 14 previous fights, three wins, all three wins by stoppage. So he has stopped his three opponents. So he must have a little bit of something about him. There is something in that over and right, it's just he's not been caught. Yeah, he's, he's just not consistent enough, is he? He's just, he's just opened that lucky shot. Absolutely. There he goes again, same shot. Catching a lot on the gloves over Zalovsky. He is. Just heard a shout from this corner, the sixth round of this Levi, but I think he's uh, intent on finishing it earlier. Yeah, I think he's, he's as you say, he's only two previous professional contests, but it, you know, both contests have been exciting. I think he aims to be, he is a bit of a cloud, crowd pleaser, isn't he? I mean, if you've got that, if you can back it up, then why not be? Like we're talking about Naz a moment ago, there's no bigger showman than Naz, but he, uh, he backed it up. Well, apart from Barrera, he backed up every time, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, We've talked about, you know, myself, um, usually do the commentary with Lee Whitehead, um, Lee Ogden, um, and probably yourself, you know, if you've 
if you looked at our concert before. You see potential in fighters, and, it, and you don't, you want them to up the game a little bit, you know, put a little bit more emphasis in the shots. Levi's doing exactly that, you know, he's not leaving anything in the tank here. It's that apprenticeship, you know, you, you fight these away fighters who come to, um, to test you and put you through your paces, and it's finding the key to unlock the door, so to speak. Yeah, you've just, you know, you, they're doing four, six rounds, so you, you can afford to have a high work rate, can't you, for the, you know, for that, that amount of time? Yeah, absolutely. Well, round four, we're into the second half of the fight. Solid right hand there from Levi. Like I said, carries the same amount of power it seems to in both hands, which is quite impressive. Yeah. Normally, can... When you've got a switch hitter, there's normally obviously they're predominantly one-handed, aren't they? They've got the power in one hand, but he seems to carry just as much power in both, which is <laughs> quite a worrying thought for Lotovolovsky. Yeah, he's definitely got both power in both hands. Not, not actually, not quite made a dent in Volovsky at the moment, but as I say, we still got three rounds to go. I can't see the pace dropping any with Levi Barnes. It, you know, that's just the way he fights. These sharp style lads are all as well. We're talking about the footwork and the power and the bad intentions, but I think they're clearly all conditioned. Obviously, you should be as a professional boxer, but they all look uh, extremely well conditioned so they can power through a, a four or a six. Yeah, they all, they all look absolutely... They all, they're all this similar shape, aren't they? Like you said, he's not an ounce of fat on any of them. Yeah, absolutely. Which is, the, you know, it's a credit to Andy. It's a credit to the lads themselves anyway, but obviously... Andy obviously does a bit of conditioning as well with these guys. Nice to see Levi now, he's just been a bit more calculated with his shots, you know. He's uh, like you were saying before, Mike, he's seen, he was catching a few on the glove earlier, but he seems to be a bit more calculated now and picking what he's going for. Yeah, I was just about to say the pace has dropped a little bit, but, you know, obviously not much, but now he's aware now he's in the second half of the fight. He's probably going to go six rounds. There's a loft skate, you know, he's a tough kid. He's catching, he is catching a lot on the gloves. Just pouring that jab out, wind it, you know, trying to, uh, trying to force a reaction there. Nice. Beautiful, fast down, with nice shots, nice combination by Barnes. Still open to get lucky, Veselovsky, with that right hand. But Levi still needs to be careful. Good instructions again coming from Andy Abrol in the corner, you know. Throw in, get out, start a danger and get back in to avoid obviously getting hit by that overhand right that's getting a bit more frequent. Yeah, he's quite slick, Levi, isn't he? You know, he, he moves his head well. Just a little little drop of the shoulder, slips out of the way. As we saw before, he slipped, throw a little uppercut inside. I think he managed to cap most of that, that, uh, that left hook to the glove anyway there, but like you said, he just needs to be wary, Mike. Yeah, you can get, sometimes you get a little bit overconfident, can't you? Round five already. These these fights should be flying by tonight, Ryan. These rounds are quick. Obviously, because they're exciting rounds. They've all been great fights so far. Yeah, definitely. We've all been to shows where you've uh, you're trying to squeeze your way through, aren't you? Because they're uh, but obviously I've come in uh, part way through, but there uh, seems to be a lot of action in all of them, really. Yeah, yeah. There's, you know, there's, there's plenty of action and plenty to talk about. Levi just poured away with that jab. I think he's trying to um, trying to tempt that over I'm right again, just to uh, maybe take advantage or at least tempt a reaction. Yeah, see, he's being quite cute, Vasilovsky. You know, he's nice tight guard. He's waiting for those shots. And there we go again. He sees that little bit of an opening and he goes for it. Not really offering much, just your pot shot. But again. Uh, Levi just needs to stay switched on. I think Levi's he did what Andy was saying is just staying just out of range for that uh, for that retort back. Easy, easy. 
Yeah, do you know what I mean? He's obviously noticed himself he was getting caught with those, you know, those, those wild overhand shots. So yeah, he must be just keeping out of distance a little bit. Beautiful shots again. Just stepping up the gas now, you know, using the ring well, using his feet well, nice pivoting off when he's throwing his shots. Had a stalk in his prey now. To be fair, Mike, you wouldn't think you're watching a 2-0 uh, new pro watching Levi. I know he's uh, got a lot to learn, but that um, accomplished amateur career has obviously set him in good stead, hasn't it? Yeah, totally. Um, you know, as a boxer, he is vastly experienced into the pro ranks, early days. But you, you, you wouldn't, yeah, like you say, you wouldn't think he'd had two fights. You know, you wouldn't think he's a raw novice. To the pro game. Yeah, he seems to have tucked it well. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of kids in his position where they've had a quite a distinguished amateur career and obviously got into the pros and it's like a rabbit in the headlights, but it doesn't seem to be the case with Levi. No, no, we, we you know we obviously we said it earlier as well. Um, I think the young Thomas Vara, same thing. You, you wouldn't you'd look at him, two fights, that was the third fight tonight, I think he was. You'd look at him, you wouldn't think it was his third fight. You'd think it would you know he had handfuls of fights and then these kids are all the same these sharp style kids are all the same <laughs> well we're into the sixth round um, again Ryan I'm pretty sure you, I'm sure you've seen it the same way I've seen it bit of a shutout at the moment from Levi Barnes. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's looking at a 60-54. Well, he's, he's, not dropped, well, he's not dropped a point, has he, clearly? No, no. He's flicking that, uh, that southpaw jab out through the back of his, uh, in the back part of his hand there. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to say he needs to be careful with that. He doesn't get uh, a... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Bit of a telling off of flicking that out. Not allowed to use the backhand. It's got to be a knuckle punch. Nice flurry there from Orthodox again, seamlessly switching, hitting there. Similar pattern to the previous five. Absolutely, it's just. I think we're going to see this as well. Well, that's what I think happens now. I think we're going to see it to the duration, but yeah, it's uh, just it's dominated from start to finish, hasn't it? Yeah, I think Levi's looking for the stoppage here. He's getting a bit of uh, encouragement from Andy in his corner, Andy Abril. Veselovsky, a tough kid, though. Yeah, he's, absolutely. He's soaking everything up. Like I said earlier, he's taking a lot on the gloves. A few shots have got through. Doesn't seem too troubled. No, he's definitely a tough kid, you can see that. Nice. Felt that though. Yeah, again, he's, I mean, both, both shots, left and right. Same power in each hand. Levi seems to just step the gas up a little bit more in the uh, that head and body, the head and body again, changing them levels. Yeah, I think, you know, I think Levi, when he's got caught with those shots, he comes a little bit square on. He gets caught between orthodox and southpaw when he's letting those ups and combinations go. And I think that's when he's getting caught with those overhand shots. It's always a danger in that switching, that, uh, that momentary lapse, if you get caught in between you. Yeah, when you switch on, Yeah, him. absolutely. I'm not a great lover of myself. I, I think, you know, you're either one or the other, but I, I think Levi's the exception. He, he does, both styles exceptionally well. Yeah, going for the finish there, but... There's a loss just holding on there. He's trying to see the round out. Last 10 seconds, I'm pretty sure we'll get through this one. Been a tough night for Veselovsky, though. Yeah, he's definitely earned his money tonight. 
For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.